What if I told you the very nature of reality was just put to the test, and Albert Einstein was proven wrong? At MIT, scientists have reignited a century-old debate at the heart of quantum mechanics, using supercooled atoms and faint light to force the universe to reveal its secrets. This is the story of a profound disagreement between two giants, Einstein and Niels Bohr, and how a modern experiment has finally picked a winner. Their debate centered on wave-particle duality, the idea that things like photons can act as both particles and waves. Einstein believed reality was definite and predictable, while Bohr argued that quantum strangeness was fundamental. Bohr's principle of complementarity said you could see either the wave or the particle nature, but never both at once. The act of measurement, Bohr claimed, helps create the reality it measures. For decades, physicists have tested this idea, but now, with technology Einstein could only dream of, MIT has delivered the most compelling evidence yet. The result? A decisive moment in the ongoing story of quantum mechanics. Let's see how they did it. To understand MIT's breakthrough, let's revisit the legendary double-slit experiment. Imagine firing marbles at a wall with two slits. On the screen behind, you'd see two lines just as you'd expect from particles. But if you send waves through, they create an interference pattern, many lines, showing where waves add up or cancel out. Here's the twist. When scientists sent single photons through the slits, they still formed an interference pattern, as if each photon went through both slits at once. But if you try to detect which slit the photon goes through, the interference vanishes, and you see two lines, particle behavior. The act of measurement destroys the wave pattern. This is Bohr's complementarity. You can see the particle or the wave but never both at once. It's the bedrock of quantum mechanics and the mystery that MIT set out to probe even deeper. The question, can we control this transition between wave and particle? That's what MIT's experiment set out to answer. Let's see how they did it. MIT's team, led by David Weld, created a new version of the double-slit experiment, using light itself as the slits. They cooled a cloud of sodium atoms to near absolute zero, trapping them with lasers for precise control. Instead of physical slits, they used a standing wave of light to act as a diffraction grating, launching the atoms in different directions. The key innovation, the atoms themselves acted as detectors, flipping their state if they scattered a photon. By measuring the atoms' final states, the team could tell if which path information was recorded. Using an ultra-weak light beam, only some atoms scattered photons, letting them explore the gray area between full observation and none. This setup allowed unprecedented control over the quantum to classical boundary. Now they could directly test Bohr's and Einstein's ideas. The genius of MIT's experiment was its ability to tune reality like a dimmer switch between wave and particle. By adjusting the atom's sensitivity, they controlled how much which path information was recorded. With perfect measurement, the interference vanished, pure particle behavior. With fuzzy, uncertain measurement, the interference pattern returned, wave behavior reappeared. The more precisely they knew the path, the less visible the wave pattern became. This wasn't an all-or-nothing switch but a smooth, continuous trade-off. For the first time they mapped the transition between wave and particle with stunning precision. The experiment visually confirmed Bohr's principle, the act of measurement shapes reality. The quantum world is a fundamental compromise, knowledge of one property hides the other. This is quantum mechanics in action. So, who won? The MIT data matched Bohr's predictions perfectly. The more which path information they gathered, the less visible the interference, just as quantum mechanics says. Einstein's hope for a deeper, hidden reality didn't hold up. The experiment showed that observation and reality are inseparable. This isn't just a victory for Bohr, it's a leap forward for quantum technology, like quantum computers, and our understanding of reality itself. By controlling the quantum to classical transition, we're closer to solving the mysteries of measurement and reality. Science is about questioning everything, even our greatest heroes. MIT's experiment reminds us, the universe is stranger and more wondrous than we can imagine. If this blew your mind, like, subscribe and share, let's keep exploring the unknown together.